All right, everyone. I was walking through because everybody's still setting up. And I, of course, always gotta stop and see what's going on. Um, I've done videos on this new product that they're coming out with before. And it wasn't necessarily powered up where I could play with it. And this one is, so this is really cool. But the first thing that brought me over was this. It was unusual. I was uh, a little confused at the moment and I thought, holy cow, that's so cool. So this is a prototype. It's obviously 3D printed. So don't think that it's um, final production of any means, but it solves some problems. See, with these normal analyzers, they are square surfaces and when you gotta hold them, usually we try and hold them uh, you know, with stuff in our hands. And when you do that, um, they drop, they, you know, it, it's plastic. So look at this solution that it, again, guys, it's experimental, but I told them that this is a 100% go. So this is a 3d printed over mold, kind of like my phone case. And not only is it an extra level of protection, but it's got built in feature sets. So the most obvious is going to be the handle up here, which is a huge plus, but look at the kickstand. So it's got a kickstand, so it actually is at an, a very comfortable angle. So obviously the kickstand on an electrical safety analyzer, the outlet's down here, so when you're pushing in on stuff, you're pushing down here where it's got the most contact with the table instead of up here. Um, but it's mainly for display, not for you know structural support. Anyway, these, these analyzers, I've always been a favorite. Um, you know, I've used these ones for years, but take a look at that. The handle on this guy would allow me to carry it while I'm carrying my documentation, my laptop, whatever. And uh, I told them when they get the final product for that, I'd love to see it. That's going to be pretty exciting. This right here. Oh, here, let's put it back on the stand so I can turn it so you, you guys can see it. So this is the 2600, which is their new automated uh, electrical safety analyzer. So let's go over some design features. Okay. First off, I, the number one complaint I'm telling everybody all the time is it's got to be intuitive. So you can see when you boot it up, it's got big yellow buttons right in the middle. Front and center is going to be auto sequences because that's going to be the one that we're going to run. Um, you're also got line voltage and device current. Now I, I tell people all the time that your electrical safety analyzer is a current meter and it tells you a lot about what's going on inside your machine. So if you're testing something that's popping fuses, you're gonna pop it over on device, device current and you're gonna see during different functions how much current the machine is pulling at a time, which is super cool. Let's say you've got a motor that's making a little bit of extra noise. You pop it over on current while that motor's running and you can instantly see if it's got comparable more equipment current than maybe another unit that you have in your fleet. I do use device current all the time. Uh, main line voltage, obviously you're gonna be checking that, especially in things like isolated power rooms. Uh, we've got earth resistance, leakage modes, ECG waveforms, nice and easy and down here in the corner. Is settings, this is a touchscreen guys, and it does have Bluetooth. So very simple. I love the layout right here are all the buttons right on the front that control this guy right here. And I believe that I can give this to pretty much anybody, including a biomed one or a senior level biomed, and they will know exactly how to run this from square one, which is the most important thing out of any test equipment that, that I have is that it's intuitive and that people know how to run it right from square one. And look at this, I could go in. Oh, that's very sensitive too. Oh, that's so easy. All right. So it, it feels like it's a capacitive touchscreen, um, which is, you know, it's it's really sensitive. It doesn't require me to press it really hard like a um, resistive touchscreen. Let's see. So I can edit custom sequences. Very cool. Device under test power mode. Um, so I can set it to either turn on or be in standby. All right. All right. And here are the electrical safety standards. So we can do NFPA 99 generic. Oh, look at these beautiful menus. That's so cool. All right. Let's do a 60 Hertz. 
so we can do like a notch filter test or something um, you know because 60 Hertz is in the United States it's the frequency that um, that electricity is pulsing so often they'll have a 60 Hertz filter in many devices like ECGs and whatnot for these guys um, let's see test load we can do uh, Amy or IEC test load very easy okay all right, and I put in the asset information, and here we go. Holy cow, look at this. Guys, how many times have I told these equipment companies to have diagrams? You have a beautiful color display of a reasonable high resolution. Have a little indicator showing you what to do to what. This is completely intuitive. I know to connect my lead to that port. Look at this, chassis, all right and to connect it to the ground, right here, based on just a picture. Why don't more companies do pictures? That's so crazy. All right, so let's zero the leads. Of course, I don't have one in there. Um, oh, look at this, guys. You can hook up your patient leads. What an excellent idea. Man, these guys, they're definitely getting some recommendations from me, because that's all that I've ever wanted. Uh, anyway, let's, let's go ahead and stop. All right, so we have a test summary. Very cool. And back to home. Easy enough. So it does have a date and time stamp. Very cool. I love it. Uh, so anyway, guys, uh, that's just me walking by the BC Group real quick. Uh, first time I really got to play around with that uh, electrical safety analyzer. It was a prototype. Uh, I'm gonna do a, another video, formally walking through it uh, very soon. They're gonna they're gonna send me one so I can I can really put it through its paces. And more importantly, I want to be able to give this device to a junior level biomed, somebody straight out of school, and see how they run with it. That's the most important thing to me, and it's probably gonna be the most important thing to you. So, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, this is just a quick stop by the BC Group.